Hi everyone, I just thought I would do a quick video on what Merrick's looks like. I've only been keeping chickens for three years and this past year has been my first encounter with it. And I know I did a lot of research online and I had a hard time finding videos or even pictures of what actual Merrick's looks like in a chicken. Most videos would show pictures or you know footage of their healthy flock and they'd just be talking about it. Well I want to show you what it actually looks like with a chicken who really has it. Um, Merrick's is pretty devastating and I was heartbroken when I found out that our flock is Merrick's positive which pretty much makes us an isolated flock. But essentially what you're going to be looking for is your chickens will be healthy one day and then the next day you're going to see that they're struggling to stand they're kind of wobbly looks like they're having balance issues well your first thing you want to look at is do they have an injury you're going to look at the bottom of their feet do they have bumble feet look check for any breaks or sprains or anything like that but generally with Merrick's you're not going to see anything other than this. You see how her leg is going out behind her? You see, let's see, move these leaves out of the way. You see how her foot is kind of curled? This is because she's lost all feeling in her leg. She can't control it at all. You see, she's trying to stand, but she can't control it. Two days ago, she was perfectly normal. And then all of a sudden, that leg goes dead. That's your very first indicator that you've got Merrick's. Poor girl. She's my oldest hen, too. She'll be three years old. She was one of the first ones I got. So I'm really upset about this. But there's really nothing you can do other than put them down. We've got her in this nice little area until we do the mercy deed. And that's all you can do. There's no treatment for it. No medicine. You can't just wait it out and hope they get better. You just have to put them down. That's the cold hard truth about it. I hate it. I really, really do. But Anyways. So I hope this video has at least been helpful to somebody. I know a lot of people out there like ourselves are getting into chicken raising and you're just now finding out that with the joy of chickens and eggs comes this. We've had all kinds of other issues too but this has by far been the most serious issue we've had to deal with. We've lost already probably about I'd say six chickens already to Merrick's. And what I hate the most about it is that the chicken went completely normal. You hear she's kind of chatty. She's alert. And that's what makes it so sad. Is that they'll eat, they'll drink, they'll respond to you. It's just that. And it gets worse. The first one we had, we tried to, I guess, doctor it. Because we thought, well, they'll get better, you know. Hopefully, if this is all it is, we can make it to where they can be comfortable and be a chicken. No, within two weeks, it got worse. Because at first, it started out with one leg. Then it went to both legs just four days later. And by the end of, I'd say probably the first week, the chicken was struggling to breathe. And that was just so heartbreaking. So, we put it down. But... From what I can find, it mostly affects young pullets and cockerels less than a year old. But it apparently can affect even older chickens as well. So, thanks for watching. I hope it was some help to y'all.